Hey, what's up everybody? We're gonna do some quick practice interpreting some of those different isotope notations we're gonna see to help us better understand what those notations mean in terms of atomic number, number of protons, number of neutrons, number of electrons, and mass number. Now we'll start at the top here with this isotope, hydrogen one. Again, remember at the top, you'll have your mass number. At the bottom, you'll have your atomic number. And when we name the isotopes, it's simply saying the name of the element followed by its mass number. So we're talking here about hydrogen one. The atomic number is one. Remember that number of protons comes from the, remember that the atomic number tells us the number of protons. To determine the number of neutrons, remember that the mass number is the sum of your protons and your neutrons. So the easiest way to determine number of neutrons is simply to subtract the number of protons that you have or your atomic number from your mass number. In this case, there are no neutrons in an isotope of hydrogen one. Number of electrons, we're gonna focus on electrically neutral atoms here. In other words, our number of electrons are gonna match our number of protons. Mass number is gonna come from the top number there, but again, it's the sum of our protons and our neutrons, in this case, one. Quick skip down to hydrogen two. Notice that its atomic number is also one, therefore its number of protons, also one. Number of neutrons, this time, there's an extra neutron in there. Our number of electrons, again, is gonna match our number of protons to be electrically neutral, because those protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged. Mass number is gonna come from the sum of our protons and neutrons. Here we've got a mass number of two. I think it's a really great idea to sort of visualize this as you go instead of just filling in the blanks. So if you come back to this simulation, you can actually build those different isotopes to help you visualize what's going on. Here I've got my hydrogen one with just my single proton, no neutrons. I add a neutron, boom, notice I've got hydrogen two, which consists of one proton, one neutron. All right, moving along, let's do some carbon 12. Atomic number six, again, indicated there by the number at the bottom. That's my, that's the same as the number of protons. Number of neutrons in this isotope of carbon is also six. I simply subtract the atomic number from the mass number. Number of electrons, six as well. An electrically neutral atom, protons will match electrons. And then our mass number, sum of the protons and the neutrons, 12. Again, we'll find at the top of the nucleide symbol. Humming right along, let's do carbon 13. Atomic number six. Still six, because it's still carbon. We've still got six protons, but our number of neutrons here are seven. Number of electrons, gonna match our number of protons. And then our mass number, sum of protons and neutrons. In this case, 13. Again, Take a time out, use the simulation, build those isotopes to help you visualize what's going on. Carbon 12 is what we've got so far. Six protons, six neutrons. Boom, there we go, carbon 13. Isotope of carbon. Still carbon, different mass. Should we do another set? I think so. Chlorine, atomic number 17, boom. Which means I also have 17 protons. Our number of neutrons here is gonna be, oh my gosh, 18 neutrons. I simply subtract atomic number from atomic mass. Number of electrons in an electrically neutral atom is gonna match number of protons. And then my mass number, I'm just gonna sum together my protons and neutrons. Chlorine, 37. Still atomic number 17 and therefore 17 protons. My number of neutrons have jumped up to 20. Number of electrons, still gonna stay at 17 to match my number of protons. My mass number, 37. That's it for this video. I'll let you try the rest on your own. Don't forget to check out this thriller of a simulation.